Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas at Nixis Gaming. When last we left off, we had finished exploring the 188 trading post and got ourselves a new companion here in Veronica. Right now we're standing right outside the Repcon headquarters. Oh goody, more Repcon. But before we jump in, I want to do what we did with Boone and just have a little talk with Veronica and get to know her a little better. What's up? He was dead when I got there. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? <laughs> Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology, controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. No, actually, you're born into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. The elder who brought us to the Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units, but he'd never tell me what they were for. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188, but sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. I know sometimes I sound like I don't, I know, but... There's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people, even if it's from themselves. It's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes, treat all our practices with the same sacredness. Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm. I wonder... Nah, they'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them, and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. And there were other ways he wanted to push. Other weapons, ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Darn it. I had some spectacular answers coming, too. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. I like punching things, but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Yeah, I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You want to build something? Talk to me, and we can do it right there on the spot. Workbenches are from novices. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a Brotherhood trick or two. My favorite subject. I want... a dress. Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old-world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Can I make it up? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. 
but Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagined a grandfather to be. It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders, somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I'd have begged to follow, watch him at work. He did. For years, he fought with the council, taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb, but he was mad because we'd lost his power. What we'd use it for? He didn't even care. They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. That's not to excuse the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him... If he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential, where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. I learned what I don't want to become. In the end, it was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. Yeah, I miss him. I don't know. Last time anyone saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I wasn't there. He gave orders to hold the plant until he could be reactivated. But he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead. But I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. -face. It was... strange. Even for Father Elijah. He's always been unstable, but this was... Something else. I don't want to say delusional, but I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it, I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean. Like what? Just my parents, but they haven't been around for a long time. Dad was a paladin, Mom was a scribe. They died in the same battle, trying to hold off the NCR from... something. I don't remember what it was. Guess it seemed important at the time. Like what? Ever been nosy? I was, once. We were pretty young, but I like to think it was love. She left the Brotherhood. Wanted to put some distance between herself and her parents. Since our membership isn't open to outsiders, some members think that obligates all of us to procreate. You can guess which camp her parents belong to. No. Couldn't bring myself to leave everyone else behind. Couldn't convince her to stay, either. I'd hoped love would be enough to influence her decision, but it wasn't. We were both too stubborn. I don't know where she is now, but I'm sure she's moved on. I still think about her, though. Once in a while. Like what? If you take trying to keep me as far away from Hidden Valley as possible because I ask too many difficult questions as a sign of respect, oh yeah. That's not to say I don't get along with them. I just think they don't know what to do with me sometimes. Like what? Nowhere specific. I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. Ooh, got any juicy gossip? And I think that just about does around. it for Veronica. Learned a lot of good information there, learned more about the Brotherhood of Steel and their disputes with the NCR, and learned about this curious 
Father Elijah character, who seems to be an elder of the Brotherhood who went off on a fanatic approach to getting technology. Before we head in here, I want to go ahead and wait about that long. That way it's more in the daytime. When we go in, it'll make it much easier on us. First thing you come across in here are some fiend corpses. You can go ahead and check them. They might have some chems on them. Looks like these ones do not. Fiends are notorious for having chems, so I figured I'd check, but looks like I was wrong. Welcome to Repcon headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. I can answer whatever questions you'd like, provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. Repcon's illustrious history began way back in 2054, Shortly after the famous Delta XI rocket was completed and launched, Ripcon's initial focus was on the development of fuel to be used in orbital propulsion in response to the energy crisis of 2052. Sad times indeed. The company really took off when Robco purchased Ripcon in late 2076 to develop unmanned rockets to explore the solar system. Very well. Feel free to ask me more about Ripcon at any time. Don't be shy. The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions, and the promise of many more, coupled with its parent company, Robco. Excellent, excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. So that's why we want to come here during the day. Otherwise, we won't be able to take the tour, and they're going to ask us to leave. Scientific discovery. So he's going to go about just going through the building, explaining all the creations and stuff. You can take a look around while he's doing that. Maybe hack a few things, unlock a few doors. Released. Uh, there we go. That's going to open this door here for us. We got another one here that we can hack. Let's try questions. No. Defenders. I don't know what it is, but I'm killing the hacking here. We can add our user facial data to the first floor access. That makes it to where we can uh, explore the first floor even when it's nighttime. Let's see, those of you in the main building may be curious about the men doing all the work, installing some enhanced security measures in the building. You'll receive a personnel packet with an identification badge. Very important that you wear your badge at all times, it's for everyone's protection. Carl Rook, he's the new vice president. We thought it would be nice if they sent an older sibling over. He's going to do as much as he can not to interfere, and his principal concern is security. They're all adapting well to new security, new kids to join your little family, see some friendly androids patrolling, sorry, patrolling around the main building, and as long as everyone remembers their badges and makes sure they are proper, properly registered with security, I just can't read today, Jesus. The friendly androids will stay out of your way. And please remember that third floor access is for executives only. If you need assistance from me or peers, feel free to give us a buzz on the phone, and we'll send you down the daily password. 
So it seems there are a lot of security measures in this building that we're going to have to deal with. Now I think there is some kind of quest if you, uh, some kind of unmarked quest if you get through all this without triggering anything. There are a bunch of hidden doors around. Facial pattern detected. And that's one of the security measures there. They're gonna pick up your facial data every floor you go to. And if you aren't recognized, you're gonna have a limited time to evacuate before they attack you. We can see a bunch of just junk in this building here. Got a star bottle cap there. Some regular bottle caps. Pre-war money. And a hard locked door there. We can just keep making our way through here. As you can see, he's still giving the tour. You're probably going to see more hidden doors around. If you have Repair 65, you can jam them closed. Those are for if you trip the security, a bunch of assault robots are going to come out and attack. So you really don't want to uh, trip security or you want to jam all those closed if you can. I unfortunately don't have the uh, repair to jam them closed. This door is locked. If you wait for uh, the tour guide to get over here, he's going to unlock it for you. And like he just said, you can read all these plaques and learn more about all this stuff if you want. I'm not going to for time's sake. My main focus is just getting through this building right now. Now for the highlight of our tour. Due to a generous donation from Rodco, this next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. Around you are the incredible iBot. He's still going on about all these robots, and he's going to let us in that room. Now, of course, you also just don't have to go through this tour. That door I unlocked at the beginning basically bypasses all of it. But I wanted to go through it because I think it's a little unmarked quest to do it. This model of our solar system is a small example of where the partnership between Rockco and Repcon hopes And this to is go. them basically See saying, hey, we want to explore space. And then the world got fucked. And they couldn't explore the space. And that's it for our tour today, Rocketeers. Rockco and its tiny partner, Repcon, thank you. And yes? Did you have a question? Goodbye, Rock. That's about it. I think I cut him off there a little bit, but uh, yeah, now we can head up to the next floor. We can take her security card, which will help us out in the next floor. And now we're basically heading all the way back to the beginning. I was wrong. It doesn't bypass the whole tour. You got to go through the whole tour to get that, but no big deal. I basically ignored most of it because it's it's just a bunch of lore for the world and I feel like if I just sat around and didn't talk it would get kind of boring you know I already spent a lot of the episode listening to Veronica got a bottle cap there I think another one on the other side of it that's a star bottle cap definitely want to get that that's two of them in this building I think there are five total that you can get. Valid facial pattern detected. And again, that's uh, the security measure picking up our valid facial pattern for the second floor. Right? Hello, Mrs. Millis. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. That's the uh, security card we got. Let's us explore this floor as Miss Millet safely. You can look around, we got a very easy terminal here. Race, no. Got two out of four there, mate. Ooh, that's a little weird. Pits. Um, I 
I'm gonna be safe here and try and find a thing to reset here. Remember, you just find the bracketed off stuff here, the parentheses stuff like that. You can also remove duds when you do that, which uh, are fake passwords. Just gotta give a good look around for them though. I'm not finding a whole lot of them, which kind of sucks. There should be more than just one. There's one. Dud removed. There's one, dud removed. They're all just removing duds. I need more. I need a password reset or a try reset. I'm not getting too lucky with this. Did I get that one? I think I got that one. Um. Not seeing any more on that side. And I'm not seeing any on this side. I might have to do some critical thinking here to guess the password. Let's see, race was two out of four. I can't scroll up either, which kind of sucks. Race was two out of four, but it wasn't the A and the E. So it's not pets, it's not pits. Pits was one out of four. Mate, it's not mate. Pots? No. Rate? No. That would be three out of four. Pat? And pits. That matches up. I think it's pack. There we go. That one took a little longer. It's because I said something about the last one, how I was killing it. So we can add our facial data for the second floor access. Check some more correspondence. This guy's decrypting packets, sending progress messages over to an off-site server. And they're going to Poseidon, but he doesn't have enough proof to make a serious claim. There's a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages. Unusual encryption protocol that he hasn't seen before. And it isn't a DOD approved methods. Someone sending insider information. Please continue your investigation and keep me appraised. Keep this information private. And she will make sure, or he will make sure that the appropriate parties are informed. Call me Carl. Let's check this last one. You need someone to come over as soon as possible, clear the old vice president's data off of this terminal, as well as reformat it with his personal information. Carl Rook. Carl Rook is the uh, new vice president, I'm pretty sure. We got Nikola Tesla and you there that we definitely want to grab. We're just going to make our way around this floor here, check stuff out. Pick the stim pack there, we definitely need it. Take the pre-war money. Sunset sarsaparilla, nothing too useful, that one's empty. We got another big office area here. Some bottle caps. File cabinets that are empty. And some more desks around. Oh, that's a Kim there that we definitely want to grab. Some steady. Psycho, it looks like some of these people were doing Kims on the job. Which is interesting. That's the way up to the third floor. Now I think we're going to want to use a, uh, a stim pack before we go there. That's another star bottle cap there. How may I serve you, second floor security card. Even though we're already exploring the second floor perfectly fine. We got a hard lock terminal here which uh, let's see 75. 
Uh, we won't be able to get into that. So we'll skip that for now. We're just over in this part of the building. Yep, this is the beginning area. Go ahead and head down this direction. That's an average locked door. Average locked door. We can't get into those. That's a hard locked door. Hmm, that's another way up to the third floor there. Again, we want to be very careful when going into the third floor because that's where things kind of kick off. In fact, that's where I'll probably use one of our stealth boys at, if I'm being honest. And I... I'm still not entirely sure if it's going to work either. That part of the game can be a little buggy. But we'll see, we'll see. Nothing interesting here. I can go ahead and... This one's easy locked. I'll go ahead and step in here and show you guys what happens. There's another star bottle cap there. We want to try and make our way to a suitcase on the floor if we can. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. If, you, if you're very lucky or just not intelligent at all, I think it's two or less intelligence, you can actually guess the password right away and they'll let you be. But uh, that's not the case here. Invalid response. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is alerted. And yeah, so you got 30 seconds there. I'm going to come over here, get this real quick. And I'm going to book here. Oh, little lag spike. But as you can see, we got that security card there. And we are gone. Hello, Mrs. Millis. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Now, I think, now that we have the security card, we can go back in... Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Invalid response. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is alert. Okay, yeah, see, that's being buggy, like I thought. I'm gonna try a stealth boy here, see if we can get by him. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to look up the other way to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and read that while I'm in here. Also gonna tell Veronica to wait to here and tell Eddie to wait here. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. And they still see you. They still see you if you have the stealth boy equipped. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna pause it right here and I'll be back in a second after I know the other way to do this. Alright, I'm back, guys. So, upon further inf investigation, there is no way that we can get through the third floor here without tripping the alarm. Fortunately though, we don't need to go through there to get the main treasure of this place. All we needed to do was go and grab that key card we grabbed from the, uh, from the briefcase. Now with that, we can head back down here and open this door. And that's going to lead us back down to the bottom floor through a hole in the floor. We can check around in these filing cabinets. There's not going to be anything too useful in them. But you can check around. You want to go down there through that hole. And grab this baby here, the Q35 Matter Modulator. It is a unique plasma rifle. And it's pretty much the main thing that you want to get from this place. You can come over here, look around, grab some scrap metal if you want. There's a safe here with some bottle caps and free war money. Another Nikola Tesla and you, some micro, micro fusion cells that I'm going to take just because there's a lot of them and it'll be decent to sell them get myself some more stim packs four of them there that's pretty good well deserved 
can come over here, disengage this lock, open the door, and you are back at the beginning here. So unfortunately, we didn't get everything that we wanted to get here. We didn't get that last star bottle cap. We didn't get the uh, big book of science that was here. And we didn't get everything on the third floor. We will probably come back here eventually and just clean it up. But for now, I hate to say that's all we can do here. Because we just aren't lucky enough to get that password. So I'm going to go ahead and exit here into the Mojave Wasteland. And I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Although, honestly, it would help if I went and grabbed my companions that are just waiting patiently for me up there. Why don't I go do that? In fact, I'm going to do that. In between episodes, I'll meet up with you guys right outside like I planned. This has been Nixus Gaming. Valid facial pattern detected. This has been Nixus Gaming with Fallout New Vegas. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.